Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I have been posting so many videos lately that I think the notifications probably aren't going out. But if this is your first time ever watching me, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm uh, very glad that you're here. Um, basically, I like to play Roblox games and I play a lot of other games and I'm a developer and a coder and a programmer and all kinds of cool stuff. Just check out the channel. Promise it'll be fun. Um, if you want, you can hit that like notification um, sub bell thingy, whatever, you know. I don't know what your kids do nowadays. <clears throat> it's not true, by the way. I am probably a lot more socially interactive on the social medias than most adult men my age, but that's fine. Hi, Blazeword. Blazeword. Hi. Um, anyhow. That's not a brag. It's not a flex. It's just the facts that, like, I really enjoy technology. And I wish, I wish I'd had this kind of technology in my growing up. Because my kids, they are growing up on this stuff. That, like, all the technology that's around us, it's just natural to them. It's like their, their native language, you know? And it wasn't like that for me. I had to learn. And there was pretty much no one there to, like, help me Google stuff. <laughs> Hi, Google. How are you? Oh, no. I don't want to actually Google anything. Thank you, though. Um, anyhow, tonight I thought I would jump in here, give you guys some uh, Lumber Tycoon 2 awesomeness. Maybe uh, throw up a couple more doors. More door. Um, last time we moved that up there, right? I haven't been up there yet. As you can tell, I just loaded in, so um, I have a feeling we're going to need a lot of these things, the ladderies. Ladder. The, you know, it could be the bridge or the ladder. I think it's the ladder. <laughs> get, get it? The, the ladder? As in the... Never mind. <clears throat> it's a bad joke. Code, bad joke. Um, I haven't had my ADHD medicine today. I forgot it. <laughs> Which is... Funny about ADHD, um, it, it tends to keep you off track and forget things, especially when you don't take it. But if you forgot to take it, then, I mean, it's kind of the point of taking the medicine is so you remember to take the medicine in the first place. So it's it's like buying sticky notes to remind yourself to buy more sticky notes. It's that kind of logic in itself sometimes. Anyhow, nobody's fault but my own. Um, but if you've never seen me... <laughs> without my ADHD medicine or without drinking some coffee beforehand, which huge shout out to Jack. Thank you for telling me I should probably go drink some coffee. I know you're probably get asked this so much recording, uh, or are you just playing for fun? Oh, I'm recording. I am recording. Say hello. You are in the video too. Oh, cool. Hi. Blaze Sword, he's been around. He's we all know him. Or or her. Them. We know the username. Uh, unless you're new here. <laughs> so for all the new people that like subscribed uh, just now, thank you. <laughs> By the way, if you happen to subscribe while I'm recording a video, it will pop up and stuff. Jack Adam Staler, oh my god, code! Wait. <laughs> Jack <laughs> Coming to to check in on me. <laughs> Make sure I drink my coffee. <laughs> I guess I could go live and let people listen to me if they wanted to. Yeah, he's in a public server. I am. And I was, like I said, I'm just here to like build and have fun and to record a video. By the way, if you haven't noticed by now, I don't edit my videos. And the reason I don't edit my videos is because I want to talk to you the entire time and I I feel like you miss out on a lot of gameplay whenever... Why has he got Canada on? Isn't he from the UK? That's okay. You can be a fan of Canada and, and still be from the UK. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. By the way, if you happen to be doing your makeup right now, please don't laugh. I don't want you to poke your eye out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You probably you probably have experience uh, putting makeup on and listening to my videos in the background, or whatever the case may be. There we go. 
nothing will happen. Lol. Wait, what? What? Make sure that you subscribe or nothing will happen. That is very true. You know, um, a lot of people will threaten you and say that there's going to be um, a snake in your bed or something terrible is going to happen. It's not true. I mean, if you believe those guys or girls who are saying that kind of thing and that you're like, oh man, I need to subscribe right now. It's totally not true. Um, if you don't subscribe right now, I'm going to sit on this toilet. Oh, too late. It's already done. Nothing actually happens. <laughs> All right. So yes, I, I am in my element. I'm back into Lumber Tycoon 2. This, this is my game. This is my favorite game. Um, even though I play like everything else under the sun, <laughs> uh, you guys did, did like, if you weren't subscribed and you saw that intro video, you saw that I do like original Nintendo games, right? I mean, that's what I grew up on. And what's funny is all these people that are like, Oh, you don't, you're not a true Nintendo fan, dude. I grew up Nintendo. Okay. I was Nintendo. I don't know where you're getting this from. Aren't you too old to be gaming? No, no, you don't. You don't get it. I was born and raised by the the Nintendo. Okay, that was my livelihood growing up. It, when other people were socializing and learning their social skills, I was figuring out where the warp whistles were in Mario Brothers Three, Super Mario Brothers Three. I was trying to figure out how to program my Nintendo uh, Power Glove to work with um, RC Pro-M, you know? These are the things that I did growing up. So yeah, am I weird? Absolutely. <laughs> but I think that's uh, par for the course. If you've never seen my videos before, I promise, a lot of my videos will be um, very relatable if you've ever been an outcast, if you've ever been um, told that you can't do something, if you've ever been told that you have a mental disability, not true. It is not true. Something that you may, that somebody else is going to be taking. Oh, oh sorry. I am so sorry. I just bumped right into you, Anthony. <clears throat> so my ADHD, I don't feel like it is a problem anymore. In fact, it's very much part of who I am. And that can't change. That's like asking a fish to climb a ladder. It's not going to happen. ADHD is something that is a part of you. Um, autism is very much something that is a part of you. Okay. It's not something that you can control. It's not because you're a bad kid. It's not because you can't, you, you need medicine. The reason I take medicine for my ADHD is to help me concentrate. I don't need it. Okay. But whenever I need to get work done, stuff like that, then I usually take it. It makes it makes life easier for me. That's all. And it's by choice, okay? I actually, I went to the doctor and I was like, you know what? It's getting harder to concentrate. I don't drink as much coffee as I used to. It's kind of tearing up my stomach anyway. I need medicine. And that's what we did. She's like, well, um... I can give you like the, the big psychedelic stuff, which is not psychedelic, psychoreactive stuff. So that would be Adderall, Silert, something along those lines. The actual like pharmaceutical grade, you have to have a prescription to get. Or I could prescribe you some Wellbutrin, which has been proven to work. I'm like, oh, let's go with Wellbutrin. And sure enough, it works. Now, normally, Wellbutrin is used, I think, as a blood pressure medicine and a antidepressant, maybe? So, it's a bit of a stimulant. Not really, because it's like a release over time. I'm going to head out. Bye, Blaze! But, these are the things that I talk about on my channel, you know? And a lot of people come here and they're like, oh my gosh, it's going to be lumber. And yes, I do tutorials. I've done tutorials. In fact, I think I've pretty much covered everything there is to cover inside lumber. Uh, you can ask questions down below if you like. And I, I pretty much guarantee that somebody is going to answer that question for you. 
I will try and respond to you as fast as possible, but somebody's going to have an answer for you. If, if somebody says, how do I get a fire ax? Somebody else is probably going to write back and say, the fire ax was a 2013 gift or a 2015 gift that you cannot get anymore during the, the it was during the Christmas stuff. Uh, you had to buy the presents. Oh my gosh, good Prime, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. So uh, for those of you that don't know, I am not used to having a bunch of people freak out whenever they join me inside a game or meet me in real life. It's just, I wasn't the popular kid. Uh, I mean, I got along with everyone and I, I was kind of part of all cliques. Um, okay, oh, 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 here you go. Imagine Jumanji only without the, um, the jungle. If you've if you've ever watched the new Jumanji, Jumanji, the the new one with The Rock and uh, Chris, no, it's not Chris. Short, Martin. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope he doesn't see that. <laughs> his best friend. It's Rock and and uh, what's his face? I can't I can't think of his name. Stand-up comedian, funny guy. I can't remember. He's short. Anyhow, I made a short joke about it. Um, the Breakfast Club. Okay, for all you older, old fogies out there, old gamers, kids of the 80s and 90s, Breakfast Club. That's kind of what it was for me in high school. I was the weirdo that hung out with the jock that hung out with the the stoners and the druggies and the skaters and the the weird kids and the Dungeons and Dragons nerds and the cheerleaders and the flag team color guard I was friends with all of them I mean there wasn't really anyone that I didn't get along with did you just Dude, nicely done! Austin, GG! <laughs> you just... just filled in one of my blueprints. That was really cool. I know he's asking if, if, I, if he can show me something. Uh, I'm recording. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, Austin, if you're in the comments, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Go, do you know Bob? I know Bob. Yes, I know Bob. I don't think Anthony's Bob though, is he? Bob was asking if, uh, if I could do a collaboration with him. I was supposed to do a collaboration with Wolf Bloxer. Wolf Bloxer, where are you? It is currently nine o'clock and I was inside the Discord looking for you because you wanted a collaboration. A lot of people are going to say, oh my goodness, Code, what is the requirement to, to do a, a collaboration with you? Well, let me tell you, um, there is a minimum sub, sub count requirement. You have to have at least one sub um, in order to do a collaboration with me, okay? And uh, you have, there's a minimum video requirement. You have to have at least done one video. Which basically means I will collaborate with pretty much anybody who asks. Um, with that being said, if everybody asks me all the time, I pretty much just say, you know what, whenever. Whenever we can, whenever I think about it, whenever I'm around. Yes, I will do a collaboration. Hi, buddy. Welcome back. Scoob. I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> so, if I get asked all the time to do a collaboration, please don't be mad when I say no. Or maybe not right now. Or if I just come out and say, yeah, sure, why not? And then you weren't the person that asked. Because it's really is, it's random. It's non-discriminatory. 
there's no yes or no's or right or wrong answers. Sometimes I'm just having a bad day, you know, and I might say no one day and yes the next day. But when it comes down to it, I just want to record. And I do like collaborations. I like playing with, oh gosh, no, I don't want to move that. Uh, I do like playing with people and hanging out in public servers and stuff like that. But like, for example, Anthony. Uh, wait, no, not Anthony. Austin. Not right now. He's asking me. Do you want to come Come here? I have something to show you. Come here. Come here. Come here. So I, I'm simply saying not right now because I'm recording, you know. I want to build up on this thing. I don't get much time to build inside Lumber Tiger 2. I mean, I probably could, but have you seen the amount of videos I put out? I mean, did you even know about the other videos that came out today? Did you even go and watch some of them? You do know I have an entire series called Nino Kuni, and it's up to its 18th episode, which is coming out today? Maybe today. It might be 15, 16, 17. Or 18. One of those. <clears throat> those are all pre-recorded and scheduled, because that's what I do. You know? Why do you do that, God? Because I play it on the weekends, record it, and then have it ready for you guys on the, throughout the week. <clears throat> Co, did you just burp into the microphone? I sure did. I completely burped right into the microphone, which is something that most YouTubers would probably cut out because they edit their videos. But not me. I'm just going to have a straight playthrough today. What am I talking about? I do straight playthroughs every day. Wow, so long door. It's true. How, how long have we been? 16 minutes. We are halfway through the episode. Oh my gosh, it feels like it's been an hour. <laughs> Did you guys watch the other one? The, the um, hand simulator? I shot a note over to Josh. I said, Josh, or default you, you got to make this inside group box. It would be amazing. So, I don't know. If he doesn't do it, somebody out there's got to do it. Uh, how many programmers do I have out there right now? How many Roblox programmers do you know that could jump in and go create or recreate hand simulator in Roblox? That's going to be a task. If you could do that, that would be amazing. I will sponsor it and support it. If you if you can come up with a, a concept of hand simulator for Roblox, I will slap my name on it and say endorsed by Code Primate. I'm not gonna pay you. I mean, I don't I don't I don't get paid that much anyway. People are like, but you're a YouTuber. You got so much money. I don't. Really don't. I'm married and have two kids and work full time. That's what I do. I play video games to relax. Can you tell how stress-free my face is? Um, I'm actually, I've been working with um, Unity 3D, which is what um, <clears throat> Hand Simulator is written in. And I think Up and Over It is written in that too. By the way, huge shout out to um, Jingle12. I watched him play some Getting Over It on uh, on Discord last night. That man has got some skills. Not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Who just loaded this huge base over there? Hey, some of your doors are messed up right there. See that? You're gonna have to go fix those before the door close. Need to fix the 42nd door. It looks open. I would laugh my butt off if that's 42 doors. <clears throat> Code, why did you say 42? Because 42 is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. And if you don't believe me, you can always ask Google. Hey, Google, what's the answer to life, the universe, and everything? The answer to life, the universe, and everything is 42. And for everyone who's wondering what that actually is, it's a quote from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe, or the Galaxy. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I think. Anyhow, great movie. 
not family friendly, but great movie. <clears throat> so what do we do on this channel? We uh, we talk about life, talk about the universe, talk about math, school, work, spouses, kids, mostly my kids, and you. I mean, if you're a kid. But if you're not a kid and you're a parent and you're watching me as well, I mean, that's what I do is I'm very open and honest and I'm just, I just talk. That's what the channel is. And I lose sight of that sometimes. I really do. Um, from time to time, I will get caught up in the analytics war of YouTube and worry that my channel is dying or worry that all you guys ever want to watch is lumber. It's not true. And I'm going to record whatever I want anyway. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're watching Lumber Tycoon 2 or if you're watching something else. I mean, that's just what happens to be right now. And I know that to be true because I used to play Nintendo games, like original Nintendo games on here. I played a boy and his blob on the Nintendo Wii, which was awesome. It was part of my cute and adorable series. We got a lot of series. <sighs> I'm also yawning a lot. So <clears throat> I know that means that I'm either getting tired or it's about 30 minutes into the video. God, you really should have drank coffee like 15 minutes ago. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Climb, 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 climb. Code, what is this thing that you're climbing up? This is called a door bridge. A what? A door bridge. It's for um, making doors to go places that you're not supposed to be able to get to. Dude, is that Anthony climbing in the background? Oh, that's Anthony and Austin. Look at them. Look at them over here. They look like little ants. Go, buddies. Go. I'm going to try and make this jump. Oh, nice. Skills. Man, I'm so good. Uh, where does his door bridge go, I wonder? Oh my gosh, so long. It is. These are some tall bridges, but that's because we have to go so far distance. The distance is long. Uh, I guess I could have... No, I needed the ladders so I could continue on with the doors. Because the doors are just about up there. Oh, man. <laughs> There it was again. Code, stop yawning. You're making the, the fans yawn. If you yawned just now because I yawned and yours was a reaction to my yawn, I need you to comment down below and say, I yawned because of you. Say that. Don't just say I yawned. Otherwise, I think that you're calling my videos boring. And I'll be like, delete comment. Because I'm very sensitive about my videos. <laughs> Notice how he didn't say joking that time. It's true. Sometimes I just delete comments that I think are mean. But most of the mean comments get uh, filtered out for me. So be nice. Say something positive. And if you see somebody saying first down there inside the comments, let them be first. Even if they're not. Even if they're 600th and 700th person to comment. Leave it alone. And if you see somebody saying, nobody cares, you write back to them and you say, I care. Because I just read that and I, I think your comment is mean, you big meanie. If you want. You don't have to. There's absolutely nothing that you have to do. A lot of people get worried about work. Um, and I'll say this with the utmost respect and without meaning to offend anyone. People complain about their jobs. Oh, my job's so hard. Oh, I don't want to go into work. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, the other. You know what? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? 
Are you going to continue to get paid poop wages and get yelled at by your boss? I'm sorry. My boss can talk to me like a human being and he can absolutely tell me off in a nice, constructive way. Okay? But he's not going to sit there and degrade me. It is a job. It is something I get paid to do. Where's this coming from, Code? I'm just... I heard somebody talking about their job today, and I didn't like what I was hearing. So that's where that's coming from. It's some somebody else. Don't don't worry. It was it was from my work, but not somebody at my work. Okay, so I was on the phone ca calling to like another um, business to work with them on something that was happening. That's all I can say. That's as far as I can get. Anyhow, the person that, on the other side basically got yelled at by their boss and told me exactly how they felt about their job. I'm like, then why do you work there? Well, I've I've got to pay off my student loans. There's other ways you can pay off student loans. Oh, I, I've got to pay rent. There's other ways you can pay rent. You don't have to be disrespected or take somebody yelling at you and calling you names for any reason. And that goes for school and jobs and pretty much anything. You got a boyfriend or a girlfriend who's calling you names, who doesn't respect you, change. You don't have to take it. You are more special and more unique and very like you don't need to take it <clears throat> and if uh, this is going to be hard if they're hitting you you need to tell someone you need to get out of the relationship and I know that's harsh because I'm going to tell you if it's a parent or if it's a sibling Tell someone. That's rough. <laughs> and I, okay, uh, I'll do this as well. I know there's a lot of kids and a lot of parents and a lot of people. You don't, you don't have to be a parent. I've, I've had adults who enjoy my content that don't have kids. Um, but if you come to me with your problem. I am not qualified, okay? I am not a trained professional at all to deal with any kind of emotional baggage or trauma that you might be dealing with. I am not that person. <laughs> but I will get you in contact with somebody who can help because I've got plenty of connections and I've got, oh gosh, plenty of people inside my Discord who are willing to help. Pretty much any of my staff, protégés, admins, you name them, they can help. We will get you to somebody who can help. Not that we're gonna help you ourselves, but if you need somebody to initially talk to or to let know about anything that's going wrong or going south in your life, let us know. And I think that's part of the reason. Not a lot of YouTubers do that. I mean, I don't think they do. <laughs> How do you get the type of processor that you only need one wood? Wait, what? You buy a game pass. Or you go and get the power. Which is pretty much the same thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my goodness. We are just about out of time. I hope that I've said something to emotionally move you or to comfort you or to make you forget about the day and just enjoy and hang out and have fun today. And... 
I wanted to take this time to actually thank you. Thank you for coming to the video. Thank you for coming to my channel and thank you for subscribing if you did. If you didn't, then you're no, no thank yous for you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Thank you as well because subscribing is your choice. And if you don't want to subscribe or if you don't want the notifications, that is completely your choice and I won't hold it against you. Never have, never will. It's been that way since I started the channel. It is your choice. Make sure that you do good choices. Yeah, that's what I can say. Make good choices. <laughs> Is that the last one? It's the last one I can grab, right? Yeah, that's good. That's good enough. All right, come up here. Gonna stand at the very end, face out this direction and say thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me Heath Haskins Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber at the end of the videos. That's just a call out that YouTube makes me do. <gasps> actually, nobody's actually forcing me to do that. It's just a call to call to action. I'm probably supposed to do it, but it's okay if I don't. Love you guys very much. Have a great night and we'll talk to you very soon. Keep an eye out for all the other videos because you might not get all of them. I think YouTube only gives three notifications a day and I do a lot of notifications. <gasps> Outro.